Hello, welcome to World Business Report. I'm Tanya Beckett. In a minute, we'll have more on avoiding volcanic ash. But first, aid organizations are rushing to bring internet connectivity to the Philippines in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan. Telecom Sans Frontières, a non-governmental organization, is hoping to establish broadband connections from the General Hospital in Tacloban, the Philippine city worst hit by the storm. Internet access is increasingly being seen as a vital component in dealing with disaster zones. With me now, Samantha Barrow, BBC World's social media reporter. Samantha, and I guess social media is really at the heart of this because it's an ability to tell people where you are. And we've seen that all week. Since Friday, people are not only trying to get information out of the Philippines that they're safe or that they need help but also people from around the world in particular Filipinos working um, in different countries are trying to find out about their family and they're turning to social networks because they don't know how to find out whether their family have survived this typhoon so there's lots of messages on Instagram on Twitter people are trying to reconnect people are messaging us at BBC World News's Facebook page saying can you find my sister and my brother because people don't know where to go to find people. I suppose in some cases though even the infrastructure that supports that will have been destroyed. Exactly and it, what's quite interesting is that um, technology is playing such an important part in disaster relief and we can see that since Haiti in 2010. Even looking at uh, these networks and where the drop in social media um, can tell where there's infrastructure problems. So Philippines is one of the most socially active uh, countries on social media so they've, they saw a large drop off of social media media tweets and messages in certain areas and first responders can tell from that where there are problems. Oh, that's very interesting indeed and that is linking of course to the aid agencies so the aid agencies have picked up on this dynamic. Yeah and what we have now is tech companies working hand in hand with aid agencies for two for example there's a company called Micro Mappers and they're using digital volunteers from around the world to go through a quarter of a million tweets from the region to tag what's relevant, to map it on crisis mapping. You see Google.org, which is the philanthropic organization of Google, they're, they've put together a person finder for people to find information, a mobile version of that. They're also doing crisis mapping. So tech is playing a really, really big part in this disaster response. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Samantha Barry.